On Tuesday, May 20th, residents of the South Colony Central School District will head to the polls to vote on a proposed $95.3 million budget for the 2014-2015 school year. The budget calls for a 3.9% spending increase over the current school year and an increase in the district tax levy of 2.64%, slightly below the district's state levy tax cap of 2.66%. Like many districts throughout the state, South Colony once again began developing its new budget with a significant budget gap due to rising costs and the continued loss of state aid through the New York State Gap Elimination Adjustment. Despite our best advocacy efforts, uh, we appreciate everything the community did to help us with that. We are still about negative $3 million this year for state aid, and over the last five years, uh, we're negative $16 million. Uh, we've tried to stay focused on key academic achievement initiatives and making sure that we uh, think of the needs of all of our kids, K-12, uh, despite the, uh, the loss of state support. The loss of state revenue will equate to 32.1 full-time equivalent positions, including 9.4 instructional positions to be cut for next year's school budget. Despite the difficult financial times facing schools today, the South Colony Administration and Board of Education were mindful of two important goals as they developed this budget. Continuing their commitment to student excellence and being fiscally responsible to the community. We try to prioritize certain things here in South Colony to protect overall academic achievement and uh, results. Uh, elementary class sizes are critical to try to maintain that for our staff, for our teachers, to make sure we can give our individual kids the attention they need. Early literacy initiatives, full day kindergarten, summer literacy academy, all those programs have been prioritized. Additionally, art and music programming was protected. That's uh, uh, very important for our kids here. We have numerous families and kids involved. Also, uh, mathematics intervention, STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics initiatives were prioritized, and also some of the AP college courses and college credit electives. Since this budget comes in under the district's tax cap, it will only require a majority vote to pass. If this budget is defeated by law, the board has three options. Board members may decide to put the same budget up before voters a second time, put a revised budget before the voters, or move directly to a contingent budget. Voters should be aware that adopting a contingent budget would require the district to make another $1.78 million in cuts to staff, educational programs, and equipment purchases. Polling will take place from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. on Tuesday, May 20th at the district's five elementary schools. Also on the ballot are two five-year Board of Education seats. For more information on polling locations, the Board of Education candidates, and the 2014-2015 school budget, visit the district's website at www.southcolonyschools.org and check your mailbox for the May InFocus district budget newsletter.